How do you export all email from your Gmail account? It's pretty easy. It's called Google Takeout, and it's basically downloading your Google account data. To do that, in the upper right-hand corner, uh, we're going to click on our little profile picture here on our Gmail account, and then go to Manage Your Google Account. Now, there on the left-hand side, you're going to see Data and Privacy. You'll have a couple options here to automatically scroll, uh, scroll you down the page. So if you see data from apps and services you use, you can click on that. It'll scroll you down close to the bottom. And then just below here, we see download or delete your data. And so we can download our data right here. Now this is more than just your Gmail data. And so this is gonna show you any of your latest exports and then also allow you to select what data you include that you're gonna download. So you can go through here and download all kinds of stuff. But if it's just your email, then deselect all, and then scroll until you find the word mail uh, to download your Gmail emails. Quick tip, I would go up to edit, down to find, and then click find, that's command or control F, and then just type the word mail up here. And it's gonna highlight mail on the page, and we can just go to the next one until uh, we find this one. And so that's like scrolling, I don't know, about three quarters of the way down or so. There's just so many services that it uh, takes a little bit to find it. But that's a quick way to find it. And then you can just check mark it. And you can make sure in the formats, you know, it says you're going to get your email messages as an inbox, which is kind of a standard format uh, for email messages. And then click here, you know, it says, um, well, if you want to download all of your email, then you want to keep this check marked, including all the messages. You can uncheck it and then uh, select specific email uh, labels and folders to download from. But I'm going to click include all messages in mail and hit OK. And so that's what you should have. And then you scroll down to the bottom and you should see next step, which will allow you to choose the file type um, as well as the destination. And so you can send a download link via email. Google might make you like verify the account ownership and all that kind of stuff. I was kind of not really locked out, but uh, had a hard time getting this download link to work. It was a lot easier just to add it to one of the cloud storage services. So like adding it to Drive is probably the easiest to use. And so if you click Add to Drive, it's basically going to add the files to Drive, and then Google will send you a link to your Drive. Uh, but it does count against your storage quota. So if you have uh, not enough space to do this, you might have to use a different option. Frequency-wise, if you just want to do this right now or set up multiple exports, you can. And then the file type, you probably want to select zip. And file size is just being able to select uh, the max file size uh, for any one zip file. And then after that, it will split it into multiple files. And then you basically create your export. And after that, you know, it might make you verify like it did here for, for us as we're going through. And so I'm just going to type in the password for that email. And then uh, basically now it's going to create a copy of the mail. Now, as it says here, depending on how much there is, it could take hours or days for this export to complete. I have an old export down here that I could open easily. But what will happen is when they complete that export, they will send you an email. That email is going to look like, uh, well, that one just completed because I don't have much on this account. So the email looks like that one right there. And so we click on that email and it gives us a spot to view our mail and our drive or download if you chose the download link option. So we view in drive and this is our zip file. And so if you want to, you can download that really easily to your desktop. Uh, but you can also just kind of explore the zip file. It's called Takeout. And so the main folder is called Takeout. And then inside of there, uh, you can double click on this to open up the HTML file, which will kind of show you how to use the whole zip file and um, what an inbox is and all that kind of stuff. But then inside of the mail folder will be all of your mail uh, inside of this inbox file. And so you can basically take that and import it into other programs like Thunderbird by Mozilla um, to essentially look at all your emails in a different email software. But that's how you can 
uh, download all of your emails and data here in Gmail.